Psalm chapter 31 David trusts in the Lord and rejoices in his mercy. Speaking as the Messiah he says, Into thine hand I commit my spirit. He counsels, O love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserves the faithful. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. One in thee, O Lord, do I put my a trust. Let me never be bashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. To bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for an house of defense to save me. Three for thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore for thy anames sake lead me. And guide me. Four pull me out of the a net that they have laid be privily for me. For thou art my strength. Five into thine hand I commit my a spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Six I have hated him that regard lying vanities. But I trust in the Lord. Seven I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. For thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. Eight and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Nine have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea. My soul and my ably. Ten for my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. Eleven I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without a f led from me. Twelve I am a forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken bee vessel. Thirteen for I have heard the aslander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. Fourteen but I a trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. Fifteen my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Sixteen make thy face to ashine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Seventeen let me not be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon thee, let the wicked be ashamed. And let them be silent in the grave. 18. Let the allying lips be put to be silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. 19. O oh how great is thy a goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. 20. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the B.S. trife of tongues. 21. Blessed be the Lord. For he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. 22. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. 23. O oh, love the Lord all ye his saints, for the Lord be preserveth the sea faithful, and plentifully druideth the proud doer. 24 Be of good a courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that be hope in the Lord.